NBA 2K20 tutorial number 24. Today, I'm going to show you guys the best setup and counter dribble moves you can add to the already overpowering behind the back momentum. We will study in detail how and when to trigger the best combos out of the behind the back momentum to take advantage of the defense at all times. So if you enjoyed my tutorials and you would like to see more, make sure you click on the link above for my all 2K20 tutorials playlist where I guarantee you're going to find more videos to help you improve your game and most importantly, have more fun. At the end of this tutorial, I will have you getting the defense to dance with that dribble combo move. I love that move. We're going to take the behind the back momentum today to the next level by adding in a very, very extra important ingredient. Post patch, this is my favorite combo by far. It's very fun. So previously on tutorial 23, I showed you guys the best blow by move in 2K20 and that's that behind the back momentum. What I didn't do is I wanted to show you that first, but I didn't show you its ideal setup move and the subsequent counters that you can do out of it. So today, let's begin by first studying this setup dribble move that I want you to add to your behind the back momentum. So at first glance, I'm doing it, but like this looks just like the same move as Satorio 23. Like you can't really see this extra sauce at the beginning because it's very, very subtle, but incredibly effective. So what I added in was this dribble jab right here. This is the best setup dribble move in 2K20. And that's that classic dribble jab that LeBron used to do when he was younger with the Cavs and the Heat. So what this really does is because it's so violent, it gets defender leaning one way. Like that's the perfect kind of setup. And this dribble jab chains perfectly into any blow by dribble moves. You can trigger blow by dribble moves out of this. So obviously we're gonna do the behind the back uh, blow by that you learn in tutorial 23 because that is the most easily triggered move and effective move, roll by move this year. So just watch how fast this is in real time as I do the dribble jab and chaining it into a blow by behind the back. So what? Like, that's instantaneous. If you lean on that dribble jab, you're dead. So to do the dribble jab, really what you have to do is that uh, you must hold turbo and then you're going to flick the left stick diagonally up left twice. So it's one, two. It's tap, tap. It's two flicks and make sure you're flicking to the ball hand. So in this instance, I'm flicking the left stick twice diagonally up left because the ball is in my left hand. And it's a double flick, right? So double flick, left stick diagonally up towards the ball hand. So it's flick, flick, two times. So look what I'm doing here. So I hold turbo, ball's in the left hand. So I'm gonna double flick the left stick diagonally up left. So it's one, two, like tap, tap. That will give you the jab. So when the ball is up on the hip like this, do that behind the back bow by dribble move I taught you from tutorial 23. So in this instance, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna still hold on the turbo, but flick the right stick diagonally down right, away from ball hand because ball to the left hand. But at the same time, you're gonna push and hold the left stick diagonally upright. You do that, you're gonna get that blow by behind the back right there, very fast, very balanced, very deadly angle, especially if you're heading sidelines. Now, you can chain a lot out of this dribble jab. So you see, I jab, I go into that behind the back, and then I do a dribble jab behind the back, step back. So to do a step back, really simple, right? Just hold right stick down. But I'm doing this after I do the dribble jab into the behind the back, and then I'm gonna hold right stick down. So what, jab, behind the back, hold right stick down. Sometimes I get a side step back, depending on where I am on the court. So here is a dribble jab as you go. So you can see me, I'm doing a dribble jab right there. After the jab is over, when the ball is up on the uh, hip area like this, I'm still going to hold on the turbo, but this time I'm going to flick the right stick to the left, left side, because the ball is on the left hand, so ball side. I do that, I'm going to hezzy out, and I'm going to go straight to the basket and finish with a euro step just to work on my finishing skills. Uh, so here you can see it's a dribble jab, hezzy, Behind the back, remember, do the behind the back when the ball is on the hip. Always trigger the behind the back momentum when the ball is on the hip out of any dribble move, and you'll finish incredibly strong and fast. This is actually one of my favorite combos with the dribble jab also, the one with the hezzy going to the behind the back, because the jab gets the defender leaning that way, and when you hezzy out, they really bite, and then you bring them back with the behind the back, very deadly. And here is the final and most advanced combo for today. This is the dribble jab, fake behind the back, Hardened signature step back. This one just cool, just watch. So watch, triple jab, 
Big behind the back. Pounding step back. Ooh. That's deadly, especially if you add in some human screens. We must first, though, learn to do the fake behind the back before learning that. So the fake behind the back is triggered by you holding turbo, and you flick the right stick diagonally down right, and at the same time, flick the left stick diagonally upright, so both away from the ball hand. So you're flicking right stick and left stick, right stick diagonally down, away from ball hand, and left stick diagonally up, away from ball hand at the same time okay both flicks are happening simultaneously but they're both flicks you don't hold the left stick on this just flick both and you'll get this behind the back that is a fake because Harden's gonna bring it back and as he brings it back you can let the dribble happen and just simply shoot the ball if the defender lean too much because you've been doing behind the back all the time right if they lean too much that way bring it back and just shoot it like you're gonna flick the right stick and the left stick at the same time don't hold it so in this instance you'll be flicking the right stick diagonally down right and also at the same time flicking the left stick diagonally upright away from ball hand again get the fake behind the back and you can shoot the ball right out of it if you want to but you can do more you can also hold right stick down with turbo after the fake behind the back to end this move with a step back and just make sure you hold right stick down with turbo to shoot before the ball comes back down so like you see Harden he just did that fake behind the back but he hasn't put the ball down yet when the ball is up on the hip like this this is when you want to hold turbo and right stick down to trigger the step back without bringing the ball down he's just bringing the ball down because you triggered the step back so don't let him bring the ball down so make sure you trigger the step back as he has the ball right there, like right on the hip right there, that's when you trigger right stick turbo down. That's when you click it, don't let him bring it back down. You trigger the step back, he, spring, he will bring it down with the step back. That saves you one dribble, and that's a lot. So right stick held step backs with turbo held down are actually very, like the easiest shot to green. Like you can see me just greening a ton of them here. And I usually do green these because you get a, because you're doing a step back out of a dribble move, you kind of get more time to time your shot and you're gonna green it more often just because of that and obviously don't be afraid to be creative with the dribble jab the behind the back the fake behind the back and the hezzy you can chain everything together so here i did a dribble jab into a hezzy and out of the hezzy i did a fake behind the back and then out of the fake behind the back with the ball on the hip i did a right stick held turbo down step back that's really fun and very hard to guard if you're adding a friend like that's it in real time if you add in some switching screens that's very difficult to deal with so as you're learning this initially take it to blacktop and practice it 1v1 against a hall of fame level defender just to get it down so you see as i jab with russell harden just kind of looks that way it's over like even if you look that way it's over because we're chaining it into this behind the back momentum that is very wide and then very straight but very fast and russell never puts the ball down so watch harden dribble jabs and go behind the back that's the key of this behind the back momentum because the guy never puts the ball back down like once i have the jab and i trigger the move the behind the back momentum as the jab goes never bring the ball back down that's too fast like it's very hard to react to that and like i said add in the screen lean bang like that's not even nice it's very nice move by curry i love curry's signature layup the so jab go like it's too fast right that's just very very hard to deal with so make sure you add this into your arsenal if you need this to grind any game mode really like if you have to grind my career that's your soul and also you know my team if you want to grind domination all time domination all that good stuff just get like a james harden and do this or if you have like a slashing playmaker just jab and go like this is on hall of fame so on my career you don't even need to play that high and on my team the highest it ever really goes on the challenges are superstar like i've been doing them they only go to superstar and like if you got some evolution cards and you gotta grind up to like 200 points or something just call a spread freelance spread it out bring the ball up top call for a screen jab go it's kind of robotic but really you're gonna get all your grinding done without breaking too much of a sweat 1000 win on triple threads all the spotlight Dwayne Wade and Kevin Garnett challenges hey you need badges you need to grind badges any kind of finishing badge and dribbling badge here you go like you will be able to grind badges like you're grinding every badge here just spread out the defense and off you go and obviously you need to be a point guard or shooting guard to get tier two at least tier two dribbles to trigger these moves the harden signature goes very well with the step back you can try the six yourself i have my own six i'll probably post them sometime this weekend as i figure out the best ones for you guys 
But as long as you got tier 1 or tier 2 dribbles, I mean, you're off to the races. Any playmaker can do this. Like, if you're a point guard, you can do this. You can be a big point guard and do this. And then uh, people like Paul George Harden don't have it. But practice makes perfect. So don't forget to review Tutorial 23. Uh, we'll keep adding to this too. There's more and more dribble moves to add to everything. Because that dribble jab is actually not talked about by 2K. Like, you actually have to lab to figure that out because it's turbo held down, double flick left stick towards ball hands. Like, that's not in the instructions, okay? But that's what I'm here for. I'll figure that out for you. So I love that dribble jab move. Uh, you guys can work on it. And then over time, uh, it's almost October, so I'll take all of these moves online. Don't worry, we'll go to the park. And I'll probably stream. And then invite you guys to come to the park with me, right? That would be very exciting. I'm just gonna grind my guy up because, you know, it takes a long time to make these tutorials. Can you imagine grinding badges and a character while making these tutorials? That's kind of my life. So I will be ready in October. I'll live stream. We'll all head to the park together and we'll double jab everybody to death. Sounds very exciting. So as always, thanks for coming by. Got any questions? Leave it in the comment section. And shout out to Bucks Gaming for the sponsorship as always. And uh, once again, I'll speak to you guys again very soon.